there is a change of that. We are going to have our uh, writing assessment next week on Monday. Right? Okay, so as to give you more time to prepare. Right? Okay, but the writing assessment will be done in class. So you are going to write in class. So today we are going to do okay an activity as to prepare you for writing and also your individual oral presentation. Okay? What we are going to do is we are going to view a very short video okay, on harmful traditional practice. Harmful traditional practice. Remember, we read about dowry. What did we read last week? Yeah. So now we are going to we are still in that theme and we are moving into harmful traditional practice in Malawi. Okay. You are staying in Malaysia, but okay, I would like to alert your awareness towards what is happening in the whole wide world. And one of the countries is Malawi. So have you heard about Malawi before? Okay. So let us view. Before we view, I would like to bring your attention to this. Okay. As you are viewing, I would like you to okay take note of the harmful practices, what happened to her and what are the consequences. Right? So later on we will do a group activity and then okay you will start writing a bit before you present your views. Okay, are you clear? Yeah. Alright. Window, 
Florence dreaded the sight of the sun in the morning because it heralded not only a new day, but problems of how to bring food in the house also. Seeing that she would not hope to finish life and the responsibility she took over from her parents was huge, she went to live with her aunt in Atlanta. When she got to the village, she began staying with her grandmother. Unfortunately for her, she could also not stand the pressure she was receiving after coming out of the initiation ceremony, like Sasa Fumbi, a tradition which requires girls to sleep with a man soon after they become of age in order to cleanse them from childhood misfortunes. Despite all this, she still had a strong feeling of returning to school. Tobozanigazende is a childhood friend to Florence, not only because they come from the same neighborhood, but they both dislike the traditional practice that forces girls into early marriage and harmful practices taught to girls during initiation ceremonies. <laughs> In Jirati, the Girls Empowerment Network Malawi is implementing a stop forced marriage campaign project with the aim of eliminating these harmful cultural practices. The campaign aims at putting up strong measures meant to stand out harmful cultural practices among rural communities like forced marriages and initiation ceremonies among others. Research findings by Jinnit Malawi found that there are several cultural and traditional beliefs that negatively affect adolescent girls. Rampant among them are forced marriages and sexual cleansing. The research approach targeted focus group discussions with adolescent girls, community members and local leaders. There are many girls who are going through similar situations like Lawrence's. 
For sure, we can put our hands together and work with all leaders at local level to make Malawi a safer place for girls to realize their dreams. Uh, early marriage can affect 
a girl to have lack of family organization. Uh, that means that the ability for them to carry responsibility as a wife and as a mother uh, is very poor because they don't have uh, any experience to be uh, mentored as 20 and above uh, mentors. So we have suggested some ways to overcome the problem. First, the old man must give chance for the girls to have better education. That means uh, at an early age, girls must have education first until they have uh, 20 or maybe 25 years old, maybe after that they can have the marriage. In our life, in our population, don't be too obsessed okay. with our tradition. Uh, because some of our tradition some of our tradition will have harmful for ourselves. Okay. 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 Uh, besides that, uh, education for young children is very important because they have better future, better uh, plan for their career and to have success in their life. Okay. That's all. Now, look at you have heard okay, him presented. Okay, can you tell us what are his strengths? What are his strengths? No, what are his strengths? Oh, you are talking about what? His strengths in terms of presentation. Eye contact. Did he have eye contact? Body language. Okay, what did he do with his hands? Yes. Okay. His facial expression. How about his content? Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Anything else that you like about his presentation? Okay. So thank you, Aditi. Well done. Okay, people in this room. Uh, my group opinions will uh, agree about the practical happen in Malawi okay. because of post merit. Uh, the problem of post merit is about children are not at a time to enjoy the childhood time. Yes. Okay. Because uh, post merit uh, in Malawi, they force a child in early age to marry, to marry with another man. After that, they not enjoy the the time of the marriage because they had many work to do in daily life, uh, such as uh, animals. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other problem is about health problem. They force uh, a girl, the child, to sleep with another man, with another man, and then. They post the, the child to to marriage with another man. So this cause the can this can cause HIV HIV problem. Okay. Uh, so then uh, education problem. They difficult to study because they focus on study. With, uh, if they if the child uh, marriage early. Okay. Way to overcome the the problem. Uh, first, just only education can change anything. Yes. Uh, because when we have education, we have uh, knowledge about uh, anything, so we can think the bad and the good things. Yes. Okay. To overcome this uh, the, the parents must give an opinion to the child whether they want to manage area or they want to study. Okay, thank you. Okay, what do you like about this style of presentation? <laughs> hands in the pocket. Okay. Do not put your hands in the pocket all the time. When he gives a um, a point. Okay, he will provide an example. Okay, do you think that this is a good way? Yes. yes. 
it make his points very clear, okay, and strong and valid. Okay, okay, well done. All right, the next group. Assalamualaikum, everybody. My opinion about the practices in the Malaw is first uh, about the first marriage. In my understanding, first uh, marriage is about we need to marry with a person we don't know. Also, we need married to person we dislike. And the harmful or disadvantages in the love marriage first, their marriage is without love. Uh, so, the girls of all will not happy in their married married life. In my opinion, about the initiation ceremony, also, if a child will have to get the disease, easily get the disease first. They also be not happy with the uh, the ceremony. So, in conclusion, my my suggestion to stop stop this practice. First, the society needs to expose to the villagers about the harmful in the practices. They also need to get more education to have a better lifestyle. All right, thank you. All right, let's we'll try. Okay. How do you feel presenting in front of your friends? Nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I'm not ready. Okay, you're not ready. You have your voice. Okay, you did well. Okay. What else you can you do? Can you improve? Have a But you are okay, right? Okay. When you greet, you look at your audience, which is good. You have high eye contact with them, and you also have body language. Okay. You have to beat your nervousness, right? And that will come with practice. Okay. Well done. So boys and girls, okay. I believe you can. Every one of you can come to the front and present it public. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, you can give your viewpoints in that manner. When you are given a topic, first of all, define what is it, or define the problem, or talk about the issue, and then move to the content. What is your opinion? What are the disadvantages or the advantages of the issue? Alright? And, and finally, give suggestions. Alright, and that is the way you conclude. Okay? Are you all clear? Yeah, yeah. Alright, good. Now, so this Thursday, okay, uh, is a public holiday, so you will be seeing me. So what you have to do on this Thursday is to read up, okay? To read up. There are three short stories in your textbook. Okay, if you can listen to your textbook. After Cat in the Rain and the Question of Dowry, what is the title, Tiffany? The first title, Kevin. The second title, The Cave of Magi. And the third one, Her. Alright? So there are three stories Kevin, The Cave of Magi, and Her. Okay? Alimi. Okay? I need you to help. Can you divide this group? Okay? into three smaller groups. So we need to say that each group will have approximately six to five members. Okay? So break them into three groups, preferably a mixture of boys and girls. Alright? And then assign group one to Kevin, group two to the game of Magi, and group three to her. So what you have to prepare is you have, okay, 10 days from today. Okay? Uh, first, on the 8th of May, okay, the following Thursday, the following Thursday, each group will come to the front and talk about the story. Alright? So, again, you use the same way. You talk about the story, the plot of the story, and then give your opinion about the story. Okay? Or, and finally, you can end with uh, suggestions on what you can do to improve the story or what you like or dislike about the story. 
Okay? So that is the task of the group members. So when you come to the front and present, you need to produce PowerPoint slides so that we can have a look at what you are saying. Alright? So put everything on the slides and also each group member will take turns to talk. Alright? So everyone is involved in the presentation. Okay? So Alibi, can you help me to break the group members? No. Up to you. You can do it later, but make sure Tiffany is involved. Alright? Okay? You can do it at random, you can ask them to pick a number and the middle, yeah, okay, up to you, okay? Is there any question, boys and girls? So next Monday will be your writing test, okay? Are you clear, your writing test? So the writing test is still on the question of dowry and cat in the way. It will be issues, issues about, okay? what happens in the song. So you will give your opinion about the issues. Okay? So once we are done with the presentation of Kevin, her and uh, the gift of Magi, we should be understanding the story and then we are going to move to individual oral presentation based on the three stories. So you will choose the topic Okay, that will be given based on the three stories. And then you will prepare yourself for your individual oral presentation. Okay? The presentation is just five minutes. You will come to the front and speak in front of your friends for five minutes only. So, 8th of May, that is a class practice for everyone to come to the front, use the PowerPoint slides and do the talking. Right? And I will give the feedback in terms of your strengths and what you can do to improve your presentation. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. yes. Are you all happy? Yes. yes. Alright. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you all again next week on Monday. Okay? Assalamualaikum.